Hello everyone, welcome back to a tutorial by Schmarvin here from Cross Industries. So, I just wanted to get started here by saying um, this is more or less a technical preview of uh, software. This is a beta test more or less for software. Now right now, uh, I'm at the home screen for Windows Server Essentials Dashboard. Uh, this being a Server 2016 uh, edition. This is a beta or technical preview. I just want to go over a few things that I've gotten uh, to do on this uh, and I wanted to show you how simple and easy w basically Microsoft is making the server setup for new businesses, startups, or even older existing ones. How easy it is to upgrade or get started for your first time. I do like to point out that a lot of stuff that Microsoft does include you probably will never ever ever use but it was nice of them to include it. Now you are, you are paying a nice pretty penny for their software which is yeah, it comes with all types of business software or hardware you do pre pay that premium price tag which is okay not a problem uh, because most businesses want to pay for that quality instead of quantity. Now some people still like quantity over quality or vice versa, it don't matter. Some people are different, it's all on preference. But today's tutorial is about Windows Server 2016, the Essentials Edition. Now the Essentials Edition is Microsoft's make or stand on new startups or small businesses. Now why do I say that? Because it is more or less pointed and directed to businesses with about 25 or less users. Uh, they may change that with server 2016 up it to about 50 users but for now I know with server 2012 R2 essentials you're maxed out to about 25 users now what does that mean that doesn't mean that um, you can't have a lot of people that share files and be maxed out at 25 shares no that doesn't mean that at all what it means is you can have up to 25 accounts or users on this server that let's say you want their documents redirected to or GPO policies to be set out for or Windows Update to push to uh, more or less it limits you to 25 users because you're paying less money about half the cost or less than half the cost than the standard edition um, and the standard edition is a little bit more for moderate uh, IT people than a basic learner uh, the reason I say that essential is actually gives you a step-by-step -step tutorial on how to set up one your domain for your local network access uh, your domain not being com you're basically gonna set up a domain that's like Joe's gym dot local now what dot local is it's not an actual TLD domain for the web access that's just for your local network to identify itself and to have something to connect to now before I get any further that is still separate from a work group. A work group just allows a bunch of computers to talk to each other. A domain network will allow configuration settings, policies, as well as users and permissions and groups to talk on a higher level and add security to your network where you can even reject any other computers or anyone that's not identified in your directory or domain to be rejected from connecting to it. Let's say you can even block internet access, file access, uh, certain uh, app permissions can be blocked or changed. Uh, it gives you a lot of unique opportunities uh, as where a work group does not. A work group just allows computers to talk to each other and see everything based on what the computer permissions set the security at. Now, going ahead and getting started with server 2016 essentials or even 2012 for the most part it does start up and you install the operating system like you would anything else from there you actually get into uh, it restarts and asks you how you want your network set up and after which you can pick your name for your domain um, or let it assign one based on the company name itself now we have a unique domain that we set up as well uh, so we've already skipped this step and gone ahead and set it up already now on top of that after everything is set up it's gonna restart probably once or twice once it's done it actually allows you to bring up the dashboard here and go into depth on customization for how you want your server set up as well as your network still 
it gives you these tools for newer or smaller businesses or even businesses that don't have necessarily an IT professional hired on full time or even part time to be able to set up their own network in their time at their pace and how they want it set up. Microsoft gives the tools here to do everything from this dashboard aside from the actual server manager. Now this is separate again separate from the actual server manager which is on here I'll go ahead and show you that as well it is still installed see there is server manager this is separate though uh, these two tools are separate the server manager is what the standard edition always prompts up with and gives you access to the essentials dashboard is actually the control center for this edition only it's not in any other edition of Windows Server but it gives you unique options to help you learn as well as set up just about to how exactly and precise you want your network set up uh, go into let's say you want to add users well my users are already in here that's just great so the administrator account that you always start with with the standard edition of Microsoft uh, Windows Server is more or less the local admin at that point this is your network users the people that sign in from other computers on your network once they're joined to your domain and you can even create user groups now these user groups we don't have any uh, but you can add like let's say you have an accounting department you want to add users to uh, a billing or let's say a shipping receiving department um, or even if you have sales teams or whatnot and you all you have different permissions you want to set or different we're getting a little bit too deep here but if if you had a file server on the server and you wanted certain groups to access certain files or certain locations or certain drives that are shared out this is where you set up the groups to do so and this is just the start of it all right uh, on top of that you can go back to over to devices devices are where you monitor the server in general as well as the computers attached to the server or to the domain now essentials gives you the option to use two methods to join it to the domain the traditional way which was go into computer and change the settings for it to join up to a domain instead of the work group which is fine you can do that as well uh, it does already set up after you've restarted the server and you set your domain it does give you that option and it will actually uh, assign the DNS DHCP and Active Directory permissions already done for you great fantastic the other method of doing so is it actually gives you the tools to uh, join up from a web address so if you go to let's say this is different from here now it's gonna be different from yours this is just the test server that we have running so we have alpha 2 as the name of this server and then you do forward slash connect after we type HTTP of course uh, and once you're there I'll show you exactly what it does okay so we're gonna bring up of course edge is with the new uh, operating system uh, we're gonna go ahead and go to that web address alpha to the forward slash oh, if, I can, can, if I can type today connect so now we're gonna bring up that web page and BAM this is different why you're on the server it actually identifies this server as being itself so you can't do it but I'm gonna point out there's only really one or two links on that page and maybe at another time I can bring it up on a screenshot or attach the screenshot to the description of this video when you're on that page you have two options you can connect a Windows based PC or a Mac I don't believe uh, Linux is going to be accepted yet uh, for or even in the near future but for those two options you have an option to connect over to the server it downloads a application to your computer and you run the application and there's some benefits to running the application aside from just joining to the domain the old traditional way the benefits are one it does most of the configuration for you two it can actually allow you to move a local profile to the network profile that your account is assigned to let's say like my account s marvin let's say uh, my local account was under my email like with Windows 8 your email is your account uh, and I I just went up to a domain well the benefit is you, it actually copies everything over to the network profile for you and you're done push and pull no nothing at all you're already good to go the app does it for you the process does take probably a good 10 15 even up to 30 minutes to complete but it is kind of worth it for those new users or for end users that uh, 
aren't managed by an IT department, that is the benefit of Windows Server Essentials. Great, perfect. Now let's go ahead and continue here uh, with a few other things. Now we're under devices. It gives you the status of each device. So uh, the name, of course, status, description. I, I haven't changed it. Like I said, this is just a test server. The backup status. You can set up backups. What a genius idea. Most businesses don't want to pay extra for backups if they don't have to. I will get into that in a little bit, but Essentials does come with a backup function. Amazing. That is the benefit, a third benefit to the tools from that application that you can download. Uh, the update status. So this one is behind an update. It's not a big deal. Uh, this is just started up uh, and just now running. Last. Uh, next, let's continue on. Security status. So we're in compliance. Now, what does that mean? Okay, so security status is, do you have a firewall installed? Uh, do you have uh, network limited or at least to a standard acceptable level? Yes, we do. Awesome. Alerts. We're on critical. Why? There's a lot of stuff I haven't installed and I haven't prepped or gotten ready. And I'll even click up here for you. So we have critical alerts and warning alerts. That's these two right here not a problem group policy now okay so here's where that group policy comes into effect on the essentials so you can actually identify computers to a group as well or per user doesn't matter uh, and the group policy will identify especially if you have a file server or Windows update server great it actually allows you to prioritize that and we're gonna go ahead and continue on with storage so storage is here is your file server it gives you one for free already set up awesome downside this is a test server so I only have whatever I had signed for the actual uh, virtual environment which is about 60 gigs the operating system takes up most of it but the rest is free space uh, and it already creates your basic default folders for um, anything you would need so client computer backups again that's where the backups come in the company folder let's say you have mass uh, memos or monthly calendars or anything for like HR you can easily put it in there and organize it yourself as well. It comes with that. And that could be for everyone, or you can limit it to people. Uh, your file history backups. So file history backups are like your um, shadow copies of everything. If you wanted to set it up, it does take massive amounts of storage, but it is available on Essentials. Folder redirection. Okay, here's two things. Let me go ahead and say that user folder is there as well. Folder redirection. Let's say you want your users my documents, pictures, videos, music, downloads, or even desktop, all pushed onto the server and be hosted on the server instead of the local computer. Now, there's benefits and downsides to this. The benefits is it's more secure. Uh, you can monitor what the user does and downloads. You can limit them to it. Uh, and lastly, the benefit is it's a little bit more organized. And they can't just save everything to the computer, so it's not going to break it every time. Uh, your server security and antivirus and protection will cover most of it. Um, the downsides is it does take an enormous amount of storage to do so. Uh, we have it running on another server for us and it takes a couple terabytes for just a few users we do have which we have plenty of space but I will say if you're an, a new business starting up you probably don't have but maybe a terabyte or two uh, and if you have more than two to three employees, you may think about increasing storage or not uh, enabling that option as of yet. Uh, on top of that, here's our hard drives. That actually gives you the identifier for how much free space we have, use space, and capacity of the drive. Um, on top of that, here's our hard drives. That actually gives you the identifier for how much free space we have, use space, and capacity of the drive. Um, you can actually add storage to it. We're on a VM. I don't feel like add storage. And secondly, this is just test. So, lastly, applications. So here is another benefit of Essentials, uh, especially on 2016. Uh, you have add-ins that you can install from Microsoft as well as Pinpoint. Now these two things, uh, see, I'll give you a few. Server monitoring, admin console, and iTunes and whatnot. All these things you can add. You don't have to add them now, but you can download them and add them to your server to allow more functionality. Now. Aside from that, you still have the functionality of a full server with Essentials, and I'll show you what I'm talking about real quick. So we're going to go ahead and go to Server Manager and show you what that means. 
So server manager brings up uh, what's already installed on our server because we are essentials. It installed everything we needed up front for your local network and domain. So let it load up for a minute here. This is what most standard users, or not standard, standard servers see. So if you're running Windows 2012 server uh, standard or 2016 standard, uh, this is what you see every time. Uh, you don't get the other functionality of the uh, essentials dashboard, but this is what you can customize with on a regular basis. Now this adds roles. You can add other roles to your server. We already have the Active Directory certificate service, the Active Directory service, the DNS service, which is needed for Active Directory, as well as your local network file storage services, which allows the file sharing and storage management for groups and users. IIS allows for that application to be downloaded. It actually makes this a web server, and I'll tell you more on that in just a second. Windows Server Essentials Experience, that is the essentials part of everything. You have local server and all servers, that's just what this server is, and then all servers is in case you add other servers you want to customize and manage from here, you can do so as well. Now back to IIS, for the web server, yes it comes with that installed already because it allows the server to be a web server for that application to be downloaded from any computer on your network, great, awesome. You can actually still add on to that and make a website on a server if you wanted to. IIS isn't the easiest to work with, but it does give you that option. I think this goes into enough depth and detail on to what the functionality of the server 2016 uh, is going to be like for the Essentials Edition. Would I recommend it for new businesses? Yes, I definitely would. It makes it so much easier uh, for anyone that has a business for under 25 users. If you have about 10 users uh, to 15 users though, anything above 15 users, I would highly recommend start looking at the Standard Edition only because you're going to need some more functionality at that point or maybe a more experienced user to manage everyone in your organization. But that does it for this video. I hope you've enjoyed everything that I've said today. If you have any comments, questions, suggestions, please leave them in the comments below and we'll try our best to keep these videos up to date and ready with your comments that you've added for the suggestions. Now awesome, we'll try and keep by with more videos coming from Cross Industries and Schmarvin here. Thanks for watching. Now, added for the suggestions. Now, awesome. We'll try and keep by with more videos coming from Cross Industries and Schmarvin here. Thanks for watching. Out.